So everyone still thinks that this Kim Porter book is fake. I don't know how y'all think that this book is fake, but these tapes is leaking on the dark web. But y'all still think that this book is fake. Y'all, let's just use our logical thinking here, okay? Y'all read the book or y'all listened to the book just like I did. There was a lot of strong implications of some shit that's about to get motherfuckers locked up. It's not that hard to put two and two in regards to who did what, when, where, and how. Actual shit actually happened. Real motherfuckers are dead that was brought up in that goddamn book. And in the book, they said that Kim Porter was stealing them tapes. She was going and copying them goddamn VHS tapes and shit like that. And now all of a sudden, all of these fucking tapes about butt naked basketball games with someone that is way more famous than Diddy is being leaked on the dark web. So this lady right here is one of the accusers attorney. She is basically saying, and I quote, that she done laid her eyes on some steals of the people that's on these butt naked basketball videos. Okay. And the people are very recognizable. So Again, let's use logical thinking here. Why in the hell would any of the people that is in any of these tapes or that have anything to do with any of these um, red rum situations that have been well documented, that was spoke about in this book, why in the hell would they let this book or these tapes or any of these things exist or continue to be circulating for y'all to end up to be talking about it on the internet like we talking about it right now for everybody in up in jail. Like, come on, y'all. Of course, they are going to spin it in the media that the book is fake because they don't want nobody to believe any of the validity that is in the book because they don't want nobody to go to fuck the jail. And y'all stupid asses are like, oh, the book is fake, the book is fake. They got that fucking shit taken down because they ain't want Nobody go to jail. Do y'all understand what was being said in that book? Or am I just, uh, it, like, am I the only person that has common sense in the fucking room? They've been saying for years, I've been saying for years, that Biggie was about to leave fucking Puffy and start his own thing with Junior Mafia. And that he very much so probably allegedly had something to do with Biggie and fucking Tupac's murder. Only thing we didn't know was that Snoop Dogg had something to do with it. But the whole time, everybody on the West Coast, it's been alleged and it's been whispers about that Snoop Dogg, even back then when the shit was happening and it was fresh on the news when Tupac died, people were saying that a Snoop Dogg was acting weird. I'm old enough to remember this shit. Jaguar Wright was saying something about all of the people that Puffy's been around that mysteriously died from freaking uh, pneumonia, specifically Heavy D. Me and my dad was talking about Heavy D the other day. Do you even realize, I was, I, first of all, I loved Heavy D back in the day. Do y'all, look, if y'all, Heavy D was the fucking man. For Heavy D to just mysteriously drop dead like that, he was a big boy, but that big nigga could dance his ass off. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, that man, it, if he ain't have good health, I couldn't fucking tell. The fuck Heavy D was that nigga. And for him to just drop dead like that, the whole world was fucking heartbroken. I'm talking about heartbroken. Because rappers did not just die like that back in the day. That shit was absolutely unfucking heard of. So, and I know the people that are my age, y'all know what I'm saying is the truth. I'm not fucking tripping. That shit was weird. And for it to be brought up in this book that that nigga had something to do with Heavy D and Jaguar White's been saying this shit the whole time. And even me being young, I, I I was just like, what? Just shocked. Because he was so young. It just didn't make sense. 
But y'all say this book is fake. In the book, Kim said that she was going to drop the motherfucking tapes. She said she was going to drop them tapes. Right after the book drop, these tapes drop it. I guarantee you the feds not shopping these tapes. The feds is not shopping none of these tapes. None of this evidence and shit around. This big Kim. <laughs> hey, young, this big Kim. I promise you. <laughs> hey, young big Kim about to cook every last one of you niggas. Shoe program for all you niggas. King Kong. Ain't got nothing on Big Kim. Do you understand what I'm saying? Shoe program for all you bitch ass pussy ass niggas, okay? Your ankles gonna be crisscross applesauce, okay? You gonna be passing that cornbread, okay? Are you reloaded, nigga? Big Kim on that ass. <laughs> but y'all say it's fake. I'm gonna sit here and keep laughing at y'all. Why all of y'all keep saying this shit is fake? Because when this shit start dropping, because if this shit is being circulated through the fucking black web, y'all better hope and make sure. <laughs> I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh. <laughs> Big Kim going to get her justice. Oh, man. Oh, man. Big Kim's going to get her justice. Okay? Just to self be sure. And you got to understand the spirit is way more powerful than the flesh. Y'all fucking with something y'all can't even touch no more. <laughs> she about to cook. Hey, like, what are y'all niggas? Ooh, boy. <laughs> I don't know. But y'all said it's fake. We about to see. We about to motherfucking see. Y'all go and look up this interview right here. I'm not going to play it. I want... Look it up. Look it up. Okay. The shit is about to explode in five, four, three, two, one. Bitch! Oh, and another thing. I highly doubt that this woman is stupid enough to jeopardize her law degree and her law license than be getting up here on the news talking about that she done seen some footage of some goddamn freaky deaky sneaky ass motherfucking nasty butt ass basketball games with some rich ass motherfuckers on there that she ain't fucking see. I highly doubt it. So, um, there you go with that. <laughs>